Good evening, we see. Um, Saturday. I had a fantastic dinner. I thought it's time for another video. So, I have no real title for that. It's a little bit of this and that, and combination of what I did in the past. Not yet the third part of the uh, box set series. We're not yet arriving, Jazz Land. However, you remember my last time showing the amp? So, this is where we are right now. So, it's totally stripped. As you can see, the converters are uh, disassembled. Don't know if you see it on the on the video. Uh, already polished all over here. You see that over there it's still dirty. And if you ever ask yourself how your amp is looking from the inside, this is how it looks. So those babies will be replaced at least. Uh, those caps. What I still have to do, so there was such a amount of mold inside. Um, you still see it here between the cables. So I have to desolder those cables if I don't want to replace them completely at least. And, and, and wrap one of them and then with a solution of some vinegar acid, um, uh, citrus acid and water clean everything to get rid of this horrible smell and to clean everything for the future. So still a lot of work of do, to do but I'm I'm positive that this will be a beautiful baby. Yeah this was the news from the hardware side. Um, talking box sets um, I think I told it during um, one of the um, box sets videos that um, I was thinking about getting the the stones box sets in mono and I was thinking that for weeks and finally yeah I did it it's a beautiful set uh, not much to say about that uh, I can show you right here what is inside uh, more or less pretty well known all of these uh, did not yet make it to to listen to every uh, single one of them but the first thing I heard sound brilliant so they did a good job yeah in the back 10 years after recorded live kind of special to me because this uh, Part of the recording was recorded um, in Frankfurt, uh, Frankfurt, Germany, and this was more or less uh, the place where I was born and where I lived when I was younger, in a small city near Frankfurt. So I know the Frankfurt Festhalle very well, and yeah, they played right there. Um, beautiful, beautiful live recording, by the way. Uh, highly recommended. Yeah, what else do I got for you? Chocolate watch band. The inner mystic. Uh, Color looks a little bit rough. So the chocolate watch band is supposed to be a garage rock band, uh, which used some some psychedelic elements. Uh, to my ears, the the. Uh, psychedelic elements are definitely in the foreground. Um, this one is from 1968, if I remember well. Uh, they made in total three albums, um, and the Inner Mustique was uh, by far the most successful one. Uh, the final uh, album was made in 1969, and in 1970, they already uh, broke up. However, a really, really nice, um, to me, psychedelic recording. Enjoy it very, very much. Um, and I think they are, you can get them for cheap, so these are not expensive records. I think none of them I'm, I'm going to show. Um, CSS, a Collective Consciousness Society. Um, 
Also, they made three albums. Um, this one is the debut from 1970. Uh, CSS, uh, they've been session musicians as far as I know. So they, they were used for recording purposes and found together to, to, to play. And they are quite well known for the their version, I think it's an instrumental version from uh, Whole Lot of Love of Led Zeppelin and this was used as the theme track from um, uh, Top of the Pops, a quite well known uh, music television show. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry I have a bad cold so maybe my voice is not so brilliant. Maybe I'm not looking that good as always, but uh, what should I say? Uh, CSS uh, debut, fantastic album. I like it very much. Uh, highly enjoyable. Uh, Bell and Ark, uh, the only album they made. This is Graham Bell, uh, the voice, together with Ark. Um, Ark, I think, was a group. Um, he knew from some of the mus musicians he, he knew from 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 um, the, his earlier days, and they came together just for that album. I think they split it in 1972, if I remember well. As I said, they only made this one album. It's a beautiful album, really, really beautiful. Unfortunately, that one is a little bit rough on the B side, so a lot of crackling noises. But um, I highly recommend that one. Um, really, really enjoyable. What else do we got? Yes, Donna Brass, a French um, singer and songwriter, um, made a lot of Celtic music uh, or electric Celtic music rock elements, uh, folk elements, uh, Celtics, you hear this, the typical uh, Celtic instruments, so the, um, what are they playing in the, in, in, in the UK, the, in German it's the Dudelsack, I um, don't remember the English word, however you, you will know what I mean, or just google for Dudelsack and use the translator. However, uh, Donna Brass, um, uh, I think he, he did a lot of albums. This one, as far as I know, was his debut um, as a, under his own name. This is from 1977, if I remember well. I really like that one. Um, highly enjoyable. Donna Brass. Electric Celtic folk, rock, <coughs> whatever. Cool music. Yeah, talking about psychedelic music, I think I don't have to say anything uh, about Brain Ticket. Um, he got um, the both, um, the two first um, albums they made, Cotton Motul. Uh, And yeah, Frantic was the other one, right? Uh, I think it's the, 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 the best known psychedelic album, isn't it? Uh, however, this seems to be some kind of a German edition where they put both together. Um, nice to have it. Um, yeah, nothing for my daily listening, because sometimes it's really strange with this uh, yeah, kind of hysterical female voice. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's fun. Here and there it's fun. Uh, not every day, maybe every week or every month. Um, if you like Psychedelica, check that out. Oh, most of you guys know that. Ah, the Dixie Tracks, Night of the Living Tracks, uh, Dixie Tracks, a fusion band, uh, this is from 1979 if I remember right, 
Yeah, they're combining uh, jazz elements with rock elements with classical elements and the mixture is just beautiful music. What should I say? Check that out. Dixie Tracks. Yeah, last but not least, at least um, well known. I talked also about that in, in a comment or in a video, don't remember. Jethro Tal. Uh, no, not with this poppy mop cover. Uh, yeah, but with a with a Blu-ray from Jethro Tal. Uh, the best version ever from Blu-ray. Love that piece. Uh, love Jethro Tal. Love that record. And we are done for today and for this week. So next video, next week, I think then we will start with the box set series for the chest stuff. Have a nice week. Cheerio.